Hi there, my bloggy, bloggy, bloggy portafiles. I'm here with my daily blog, number 132, I think. I'm not going to do much today because everyone in the house is asleep apart from me. So, I don't want to be too noisy. Sat on the toilet again. <laughs> Naked. Do you want to see? No. <laughs> right, I'm just going to do... Um, random poem and I'm gonna do history on this day that's what I want to do then I'm gonna go because I'm currently working on the uh, theme show for July on my heavy metal podcast high speed hangover I'm doing a formal out theme show it's very hard getting the tracks for it I've got to say and I think YouTube would be a pain as well I think they're getting rid of a lot of songs that people have uploaded to it so normally you can do a search and quite often you get a hit for something banned and now it's just getting hard to get banned videos on the download rather annoying but anyway history on this day 12th of June in 1667, a Dutch fleet raids Chatham Dockyard Medway, taking the Royal Barge and humiliating the Royal Navy. Hmm, I'd never heard of that. I didn't, that's what 16, I must have been in the war with the Dutch at some point, were we? Or they'd just been naughty. Anyway, uh, on this day in 1701, the Act of Settlement ensures a Protestant succession in Britain by passing the throne to Hanover. Hmm. Religious politics and doings. And in 1964, Nelson Mandela, leader of the anti apartheid struggle in South Africa, is jailed for life for sabotage. He was in there for about 30 years, wasn't he? Before he finally got released. Blimey. Right, now a random poem. A random poem by someone called Robert Frost. And I'll go to bed. Well, I'm not going to bed, I'm going to go back to bed and do some more uh, research for my Fallout theme show. So this is a Rob Frost did from 1874 to 1963. It's called Mowing. There was never a sound beside the wood but one, and that was my long scythe whispering to the ground. What was it, he whispered? I know not well myself. Perhaps it was something about the heat of the sun, something perhaps about the lack of sound, and that was why it whispered and did not speak. It was no dream of the gift of idle hours, or easy gold at the hand of fay or elf. Anything more than the truth wouldn't have seemed too weak to the earnest love that laid the swale in rows, not without feeble pointed spikes of flowers, power orchises, and scared to blight bright green snake. The fact is the sweetest dream that labour knows, my long scythe whispered and lay the hay to make. Cocked it up a little bit there. I'm always cocking it up. You know, I'm not perfect. I don't practice it. You know, first time reading, you've got to cock up and then again, ain't you? That's my excuse anyway. If you don't like it, go listen to another bearded twat sitting on the book doing poetry. I mean, come on. What other blog can you find a naked bearded man sitting on the toilet in the dark reciting poems and telling you history on this day? Nowhere else. Nowhere else. And you'd know there's demand for this shit. I swore. Oh well. Anyway, I thought I was unrecorded for a second then. But I was around there and got to do it all again, anyway. Yeah, I'm off. Bye.